All right, so in this problem, I have a squared minus b squared is equal to 19. So I want to note that a and b, these are both positive integers. And we want to find the value of a and b. So to start, we first start with a squared minus b squared is equal to 19. Now, we can use logic to deduct some information. So if a squared minus b squared, if this is equal to 19, then this must mean that a minus b is greater than 0, meaning a is greater than b. Because let's say a was less than b. So let's say a is 1 and b is 2. So now I have 1 squared minus 2 squared is equal to 19. Well, 1 squared is 1 minus 2 squared is 4. And this is actually going to be a negative number. But as you can see, a squared minus b squared, this is a positive number. And the only way for this to be a positive number is if a is greater than b. Because if b is greater than a, then this would be negative. So now if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is simply equal to x plus y times x minus y. So in this case, we can think of a as x and b as y. So this would be equal to a plus x, or sorry, a plus b times a minus b, which is equal to 19. Now 19, this can, 19, this is equal to 1 times 19, right? These are the only two factors of 19 because 19 is a prime number, meaning its only factors are 1 in itself. So we can actually think of a plus b as 1 and a minus b, or sorry, we can think of a plus b as 19 and a minus b as 1. Because if we correlate 1 with a plus b, or sorry, we correlate 19 with a plus b and 1 with a minus b, then we get 1 times 19, which is equal to 19. So now that we know this, we know a plus b is equal to 19 and a minus b is equal to 1. We can simply solve for a and b because this is a system of equations. So if a minus b equals 1, I'm going to add b on both sides and subtract 1 on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I'm going to be left with a minus b is equal to, or sorry, a minus 1 is equal to b. So now I can go ahead and plug this into my original equation. So now I have a plus a minus 1 is equal to 19. a plus a is 2a, so I have 2a minus 1 is equal to 19. If I add 1 on both sides, I get 2a is equal to 20, meaning a is 10. So if a is 10 now, then this means that I simply have to plug in into one of these equations. So if a minus b is equal to 1, a is 10, so I have 10 minus b is equal to 1, meaning b is 9. So a equals 10 and b equals 9. These are my answers. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to simplify this in parts. So let's first simplify 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. Well, 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9, that's simply just 9 to the power of 9 over 9 to the power of 9. So I have this divided by 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. Now, remember, we, we have to go in order because remember PEMDAS, we would have to go in order. So we can't just simply switch these out. We can't just do this divided by these two. We have to go in order. So what comes first is 9 to the power of 9, 9, to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. So 
Anything divided by itself is 1, so these two cancel out. And I'll be left with 1 divided by 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. Now again, you would have to go in order now. So now we're going to do 1 divided by 9 to the power of 9. So 1 divided by 9 to the power of 9, this is equal to 1 over 9 to the power of 9. Now I have this divided by 9 to the power of 9. Now, if I have something in the form 1 over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of negative n. So 1 over 9 to the power of 9, that's going to equal 9 to the power of negative 9. Now I have this divided by 9 to the power of 9. So now, let me clear out this page. I have 9 to the power of negative 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. Now, this is the same thing as 9 to the power of negative 9 over 9 to the power of 9. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, 9 to the power of negative 9 over 9 to the power of 9, this is going to equal 9 to the power of negative 9 minus 9. And negative 9 minus 9, that's simply equal to negative 18. So now I have 9 to the power of negative 18, which is equal to, well, 9, this is the same thing as 3 squared. So I have 3 squared to the power of negative 18. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So, three to the power of two to the power of negative 18, this is gonna equal three to the power of two times negative 18. And two times negative 18 is negative 36, so I have three to the power of negative 36, which is equal to one over three to the power of positive 36. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have six divided by two times one plus two. And this is actually a very simple algebraic problem that many people actually get wrong. So to solve this, what I'm going to use is PEMDAS. PEMDAS. So the P here, this stands for parentheses, the E stands for exponents, the M stands for multiplication, the D stands for division, the A stands for subtraction, and the S I'm sorry, the A stands for addition and the S stands for subtraction. So we have to go in a certain order. So what we first start with, we start at the top and we first look for parentheses. So if something is in parentheses, we solve that first. Well, as you can see here, one plus two, this is in parentheses. So one plus two, that's equal to three. So now I have six divided by two times three. And 2 times 3, this is written like this. Next, well, again, now, we again look for parentheses. There are none. So now we go down. We go down to exponents. Are there any exponents here? No, there aren't. So now we're going to go down to multiplication. And for multiplication and division, although it's written like this, these two are actually in the same box. And same goes with addition and subtraction. So whichever one out of these two comes first, multiplication or division, that's the one that you're going to start with. So right here, as you can see, going from left to right, we have division, meaning we're going to go, we're going to use that first. So now I have six divided by two, which is equal to three. So now I have three times three, and now all we have left is multiplication. Three times three is nine. So nine here would be our answer. Now, what people used to do to get the wrong answer, actually, is this was actually during the 1900s. What they would do is they would first go, they would use the right method. They would first start by adding 1 plus 2 in the parentheses. So this would be equal to 6 divided by 2 times 3. But now, instead of divide, doing 6 divided by 2, they would do 6 over 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is 6, so they get 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. And this is actually the wrong method. 
because as we know, we do between multiplication and division, we do whichever one comes first. So in this case, division comes first, so we would do that before the multiplication. So that's how you solve this problem.